Uh, yeah, welcome and welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast, Wednesday night, live. Yeah, it started off with a soft clap. Yeah, 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 I had, to, I, had to, I had to hit the slider on the mixer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that, uh, that the slider was down low, but, um, what's going on, everybody? Uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you, uh, checking with us on this Wednesday night, um, well, this is our normal Wednesday night show, but uh, I think we got some pretty good topics lined up for you guys today, and uh, I'm sure we're going to get into some debate, but uh, what else is new here on the Format Podcast? It's all good. I got my guys dude. with me, of course. I got the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? What's good, my boy? Maintaining, maintaining. And of course, I got my main man, G. G, what's good? What's going on, fam? Hey, holding it down, holding it down. So, um... Yeah, we got uh we got some good topics. Uh, y'all want to wait a couple minutes? See if we get a see if we get a couple more people in the chat before we start uh, going. Yeah, man, get these folks ready. Get these folks awake. <laughs> All right, tune in. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's the it's pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. That's it right. Pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. Man, I, I tell you what, um, these are some good topics tonight, man. I, I think um I think we're going to uh, definitely have some good discussion on these, man. This um. Psst. Your man Aaron Rodgers, man. Oh no, oh, I'm no. have to dial back my temperament on that one. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, man, that, uh, yeah, I'll get to it, man. That's that's just definitely, crazy. definitely. Yeah, Stephen that's A. Smith crazy. out here with the BS, really disturbing. Really speaking disturbing. facts. He's not speaking no facts, man. Speaking facts. He's not speaking facts, and we'll, we'll get to it. I could be objective I, of LeBron James, but I could respect. I can too. At the same time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a grease the skids to get my kid in this mug. Goddamn Skippy, man. <laughs> All right. Salute, we'll, Steve. We'll, yes, sir. We'll definitely, definitely talk about that. I'm looking forward to that topic. And then, of course, <laughs> is Lamar Jackson already top five all time? Whoa. Yeah. We, we know who's warn uh, everybody before we even get started <laughs> on that conversation. Like, this is G's segment. That's going to be G's segment alone. I'm just mm-hmm. going to let that man cook. <laughs> Uh, no, it's if actually a good to topic. And and be like, hey man, G, am I alive? Can I chime in? Hey, it's it's, it's actually up? worth it's ahead, actually man. worth the discussion because uh Lamar is a he's one of the most special players we've ever seen. It's actually worth the discussion. So yeah, looking forward to having that one too. Sid Bubba, what's cracking? Man, said his boys is in the building. We in the house. There it is, there it is. We in the house. There it is. Um, all right, I guess we we'll go ahead and uh we'll we'll get it um uh, we'll get it going. Uh all right. Um so NCAA as we mentioned we got some, proves elimination of the again? national letter of intent. So, yeah, but, man. Yeah, I, I thought that was very interesting. They just got um, rid of the national letter. I saw that. I saw that. Let's hang on one second and we'll get right to that. But before we get started, y'all. You know what time it is. You know what you got to do. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't um next up i believe that's me um Robert Sala dismissed, uh, what, yesterday from the New York Jets yesterday morning? Correct. Um, yeah, that one shocked me. Uh, when that happened, I I pretty much immediately got online and, and did a live. I don't know if you guys caught that. If you didn't, you can uh, you can check the channel here. But I gave a lot of my thoughts on that and uh, have some more thoughts and more information came out. But I, I just thought I thought this was poor timing. I thought Robert Sala, I thought he got jerked. I really thought he was done wrong on this. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you Robert Silas, Bill Belichick or Andy Reid or anything like that. I'm not telling you some mm-hmm. super outstanding coach. I think his career record as a head coach, obviously with the Jets is 20 and 36, right? So well below 500. That said, his organization hasn't exactly put him in the best situation to win in terms of uh, getting him a quarterback. They never got him that. 
Um, they got him an Aaron Rodgers who's old and now coming off a major injury and he's not mm -hmm. playing like he should have. Uh, we know that the owner and the GM both loved, uh, uh, what's my guy's name? He's in Denver now. Uh, Zach, uh, the previous quarterback, Zach, Zach, Wilson? Uh, Zach, Zach Wilson. Wilson. Thank you. Number yep. two pick overall. I believe they, they drafted Zach Wilson. He wasn't good. So it's like, what was Salah really supposed to do? Now he's in a situation where, uh, Aaron Rodgers and he denies it. Um, he uh Aaron Rodgers has a lot of uh not I think he has a lot of power in that organization. We saw it in terms of how he got there and mm -hmm. um some of the stipulations he put in place and kind of what it's been since he's been there. But uh at the end of the day, um Salah's not there anymore. So this so this is pretty interesting. And one of the things I actually read this and I don't know if it was a columnist just giving an opinion or if it was like a, a reporter saying that this for sure had something to do with it. But I thought it was interesting. And that was, um, we know that, and I'm going to slightly venture into the political lane here and then I'm going to get back out of it because I, I don't like doing that. However, um, we know that New York City has one of the largest uh, Jewish populations in the world. And we also know that Israel is in the midst of a lot of conflict currently in the Middle East, conflict in Gaza, conflict with Iran, and now conflict with Lebanon. Now, Robert Sala is a Lebanese American. Um, as I mentioned, he's uh, the first Muslim head coach in the history of the National Football League. He's the first Arab American head coach in the history of the National Football League. And while they were in, um, while he was over in uh, England, uh, I don't know if you know, if you guys noticed, he had a Lebanese flag on the sleeve of his shirt, of his, uh, his jet shirt on the sideline. When I noticed it, I was like, what is that? Is that what I think it is? So I, I quickly looked up Lebanese flag. Then I look back. I'm like, yep, that's it. And so I had a feeling I said, this may rub a lot of people in the United States the wrong way. It may rub a lot of people in New York City the wrong way, right or wrong. I'm not going to state any opinion on that. I am just going to say that we know that it did rub a lot of people in New York City the wrong way. Um, I read some you know, social media comments to that effect. And uh, I thought that was interesting. Although I think the NFL has a program that encourages people to wear uh, if they have, you know, international um, connections or international descent, the NFL actually encourages people to wear those um, uh, those flags or symbolism of that international um, descent, you know, on themselves on the sideline. Mm -hmm. like the NFL is OK with that. So I thought it was interesting that he wears his, which, you know, he is a direct descendant of Lebanon. I believe he still has family there. And so um, he wears that and people get upset by it. I thought that was really odd, but OK, so be it. So. No one has, well, I saw the one person, but for the most part, mainstream media and probably rightfully so has stayed away from that and hasn't really been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, hasn't really reported on that aspect of it, but I think that may have played a small role in the dismissal, probably pissed some people off with that. And it's unfortunate. Um, but, uh, overall this thing is, uh, I did, like I said, I think he was done wrong in this situation and we'll hear some commentary uh that may uh shed a little bit of light on it and we'll also hear from aaron Rodgers. but before we even get to that i want to get to my guys and get you guys' thoughts on it how'd you feel what 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 did you think when you first heard the news and um do you think that the dismissal was just do you think it was not where are you on that french home you can go <laughs> hey, I was waiting. I was like, okay, y'all go let me y'all go let me take off real quick. Okay, all right. As you guys know, long standing and Rogers fan when he wore the green and color code gold, okay? But the green and yellow. I've been supportive of what he's done on the field, not so supportive of what he did off the field. I say all that to say. Aaron, why you get that man fired? Right? Mm. Why, why'd you get the wrong person fired? Mm -hmm. I didn't the even wrong person. That. You got the wrong person fired. Right. Uh, what, what are we looking at here? If I look at look back at these games, what was the stat line for Aaron Rodgers <laughs> last game? Two touchdowns, three interceptions. Mm-hmm. One of them was a pick six. One of them was a pick six. What was the score right. in that game? I believe it was 2017. 20, 23 to 17, 2017. 
20, 23 or 20. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think it was 23, 17. 23, 20. Uh, but Something yeah, close. The game was close, right. right? Right, right, right. It seems like to me y'all can't get it done on the offensive side of the ball. I've been right? saying that. Mm-hmm. The offensive side of the ball. So you go and get rid of the defensive-minded head That's coach. Right. That's right. The defense has been doing their job. Mm-hmm. They better be doing their job. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up. The, I'm pulling up some numbers here. Um, pull up the numbers. Defensive leaders, top five yards allowed. Mm-hmm. Tennessee Titans, two hundred forty-three point eight a game. New York Jets, two fifty-five point eight. You guys are second in mm-hmm. defensive leader um, in, in that aspect. Okay, let's move on. Sacks per game. New York Giants, 22. Minnesota Vikings, 22. Denver Broncos, 19. New York Jets, 18. Mm-hmm. So defense, I'm top five again, right? Mm-hmm. I look at the team's points per game, 18.6. For, for, for Aaron Rodgers, that's the worst we've ever seen. 18.6 points per game, that's the mm-hmm. worst we've ever seen for Aaron like Rodgers. 27 career. or something like that, they're bad. They're bad, bro. They're bad. Mm-hmm. Your, your yards versus pass. Um, the yards per pass six. That's Aaron Rodgers. That's the worst. Touchdown interception ratio seven to four. I've I've seen him go forty five and five in a season. Mm-hmm. This Correct. is by far your worst passer rating eighty one point six. He's the lead leading. I mean, he's the NFL record holder for passer rating for a career of over a hundred. Eighty one point six. That's the worst of your career, bro. It seems like you got the wrong person out of the door. It's Nat Hackett. The man can't hack it, bro. He can't Facts. hack it. Mm-hmm. We saw what he did in Green Bay, mm-hmm. okay? But we saw you saw him go to Denver and do what? Nothing. Nothing, okay? You saw him get fired. You come over to New York. Right now, what is he doing? Nothing. What is he doing for you guys offensively? What scheme is he running? Aaron Rodgers, you were successful in Green Bay because you were the system in Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Anybody, anybody can look good with you over there. Matt LaFleur, somehow... Took the backup quarterback with his scheme and went to the playoffs. Come on now, you guys are two and three. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't get what they're doing over there in New York. But but Aaron Rodgers has some boys in the chokehold. He got mm-hmm. Woody uh, on film watching something or doing something to some mm-hmm. freaking body for you to have the audacity. And I believe he's a liar. I'm gonna say it right now. I believe he's a liar. He didn't. I mean, you spoke with Woody, but you didn't have anything to do with Robert Sala being fired. But Nat Hackett is still in the building. Right mm-hmm. after Sala was questioned about getting rid of Nat Hackett, so you mean tell me Robert Sala was in conversation of getting rid of Nat Hackett, Nat Hackett, and then he got fired. But Nat Hackett is still in the building. Nah, bro, I, I got no reason to believe that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really do narratives or nothing like that much. much but come on now. Stevie Wonder can see what's going on here, brother. Stevie yeah. Wonder can see this. He can see you wanted to keep his boy. You was about to fire my boy. So guess what? Let's get you up out of here first. All right. So Woody gets you on the phone. Hey man, what you hey, what, what you thinking, man? Hey, if he gonna fire that Hackett, I'm I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. Now nah, I'm retiring after this season. You know how Aaron Rodgers like to do, man. So mm-hmm. that 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 whole spill that he gave, uh, I forget what talk show he was on. Uh, what's McAfee. his name? Pat McAfee show. I got the clip that from that. Spill, I'm, gonna show, I'm gonna show it. It was yeah. bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he was BS. He was mm-hmm. what, what he was doing freaking uh, James Harden Euro steps all around mm-hmm. the question. Like, come on, man! Now, if you if you want to believe that, then that's your prerogative. I I I loved Robert Sala. Yeah, I've like, known on, him man. since twenty twenty one when he mm-hmm. was our practice uh, going against our practices. Yeah. I know his kids. Yada yada yada. But you couldn't even get that man a hug when y'all went up two scores, bro. That man was mm-hmm. just trying to celebrate. You brushed that man like, come on. Aaron, Aaron, come on, man. Yeah. You've been trying to BS us for so freaking long, bro. Mm-hmm. So freaking long. And it's finally catching up to you because Father Time is on your ass. Correct. Father Time is on your ass, and you rather keep friends around versus try to get better. You already didn't freaking put uh, the Jets almost in purgatory with everything you do. I, I got Let's get uh, Alan Lazard. Uh, let's get Randall Cobb. Let's get this guy. Uh, there was in talks of getting uh, 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 our old uh, guard out of Green Bay. Now they're in talks of getting oh, Devontae okay. Adams. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, like, bro, we're giving you everything you want, bro. Mm-hmm. We're just tired of losing from the offensive side of the ball. We got rid 
of everything we got offensively. All right. We drafted a quarterback over and over and over and we were failing. So guess what? We said, let's go get this future Hall of Fame quarterback, four time MVP champ. I mean, four time MVP winner, Super Bowl champ. Let's mm-hmm. get this guy and give this guy a defense because we've seen what Aaron Rodgers can do when his team is top 10 in defense. That's go win a Super Bowl. That's correct. We saw that. We right saw now, that. bro, we're not getting that. Well, the, well, I think part of the problem is that he's not physically able to give that anymore. But even though he knows that, he doesn't want to He doesn't want to change what he does. He doesn't want to use pre-snap motion to help identify the defense. He yeah. doesn't want to run the football, and that's to um, – uh, Tyler's comment, it's been reported that he doesn't want to run the football, even though he's got an outstanding young running back behind outstanding. him. Outstanding. Like, yeah, it's uh, it's not a good look. But um, before I go off, um, G, go ahead, man. Where, 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 where are you on this? What did you think when you heard uh, that Robert Sala had been dismissed and you think he got the, the short end of the stick? What do you think? Uh, so the, the Jets have been losing for a long time, right? Um, long time. I can't tell you when a long, long time. And um, long, long time. You know the 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 Jets has been where a lot of Green Bay quarterbacks go to, um, you know, move on to. Brett Favre. You know, yeah, Brett Favre being another name. Um, and so they welcome these quarterbacks. They welcome the Aaron Rodgers. They knew it was a lot of turmoil. That, that owner knew that he was going to run into a whole lot of sassiness when it came to Aaron Rodgers. This, but that's not. This isn't about Aaron Rodgers, right? We talking about a co- uh, uh, um, a coach being fired for performance when there's been a lot of losing going on in the Jets. It could just I don't believe it was there's performance. I think it's more of a um, something internal, man. That that they haven't disclosed. It could have just been one of those things where they just had a heated conversation and it just got out of hand. He was like, "All right, get out." Um, do I know if? Uh, Aaron Rodgers had his hand in this. I don't, bro. Like, I, I really don't. I really don't. Um, I think he did. The timing and the other factors are just uh, too coincidental. And so what was reported, I had originally thought, and I talked about this yesterday, I had originally been under the impression that Robert Sala was looking to fire um, Nathaniel Hackett. Hackett. Yep. But what I heard today was more so that he was looking to strip him of the play calling duties which is essentially a demotion for an offensive coordinator and have the uh have the quarterbacks coach i can't remember his name it's todd something but have the quarterbacks coach take over the uh play calling duties Mm -hmm. and so um we know aaron Rodgers didn't like that now again i'm not going to sit here and say that aaron Rodgers was responsible for it it's just the timing lines up oddly i I just i don't know Um, that's bs he got that man fired i Again, why? I, I, why? I, because that quarterback's coach would have probably told him, "Hey, bro, we're running a fucking football. We got <laughs> right, Brees Hall. Right? right. Uh, come on. Yeah. We, we were talking about this man being a top ten running back this year. Mm-hmm. How are y'all last in rushing yards a game? Yeah, yeah, that's You're terrible. Last in rushing right? yards total. Absolutely. With two studs at running back. Mm-hmm. But what, Aaron Rodgers can throw the, the ball fifty something times. Yeah, that's yeah. why like, I picked. Come the on, bills. man. Right. Like, get that. um. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's hear what Aaron Rodgers had to say. He was on the Pat McAfee show today. And um, BS. at least Pat McAfee asked the question. Uh, I don't know if he followed up the way I would have. But again, Pat McAfee, he's not a journalist, but he, you know, he did all right with it. So let's check out what he had to say. The narrative that has been built quickly. And I think this is what happens with your life for everything you do. There is a narrative that is built. And then you either decided for a long time to kill him with indifference and not answer a narrative or whenever you came on our program and started doing as such and started opening up more to everybody it was like you started like kind of nipping things in the bud that have been growing for a long time right now the narrative that's growing around you is that you got coach sala fired because you hate coach sala you didn't give him a hug okay you went to egypt and you hate the guy now i would love to offer you the floor to kind of explain how yesterday went down, your thoughts on it all, and how you think we got to this point that we're at with the New York Jets organization in 2024. Yeah, I mean, yesterday was uh, a day that reminds you of the simple fact that all of us who played know all too well, and that's that it's a tough business. It's a beautiful profession. It's incredible. It's done so much for our lives, but it's also uh, a really tough business. Um, I love Coach Sala. Uh, we have a, a very solid relationship. We have since, uh, you know, I met him in 2021 uh, and had a nice conversation when they came and, and visited us for uh, joint practices. 
Uh, he was a big reason why I came to the Jets. You know, I felt like uh, the team, you know, was a solid team. Uh, had a relationship with Coach Hackett, obviously. And I really liked Coach Sala. Everything that Matt LaFleur said about him, the few interactions I've had, the times that we went against him, um, I just had a lot of respect for him. And so, uh, you know, it was just a reminder yesterday how tough the business is. I think what what people uh, can forget in this is not only is, is Robert a fantastic human being and a damn good football coach, he's also a family man. He's got seven kids. He's got an incredible wife. And uh, the business of football can be hard, not just on those of us who are playing and coaching uh, and doing personnel things uh, and ownership, obviously, but it's tough on the families. And uh, I've got to know Robert's family uh, over the last couple of years, and especially one of his kids, Adam. Adam's my little throwing buddy from training camp. Uh, love Adam. He's an incredible, incredible kid. And you know, so I'm I'm thinking there's obviously a lot of emotions, uh, but you think about the, the family and the kids as much as, you know, uh, the people that you love, your own family, who is the coaching staff and the players and what uh, what they're all going through. So, you know, anybody who's kind of championing this decision, I would just uh, appeal to the humanity of the situation and 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 remind you there's other people involved. And Adam has to go to school today you know, possibly or this week. And uh, hopefully there's no, you know, uh, kids with poor parents who are making snide side comments to him. Um, it's just a reminder. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things involved in this. As far as any of the ridiculous allegations out there, I'm not going to spend more than uh, one sentence uh, in response to it. And that is that I, I resent any of those accusations because they're patently false. And and uh, it's interesting the amount of power that people think that I have, um, uh, which I don't. But um, I love Robert, and uh, it was, um, you know, one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> you good, Transformer? We're back, man. <laughs> Rogers, put you to sleep. <laughs> mm. Oh my bad, y'all. My bad, bro. You know how you we'll know that's at, phony. We'll be in a second. You know how you know that's phony because he's trying to do so much to convince us how much he loves Salah. Like you don't, you don't. Come on, bro. All you had to do was you just keep it professional. Like listen, you know, like he said, we know that this is a, a tough business. We know this is a result-oriented business. Unfortunately, yeah. as a team, we haven't gotten the results we were looking for, and. A lot of times in those cases, you know, the head coach is going to be the guy who has to fall on the sword for that. We wish Robert the best, but we've got to continue as a team to try and come together and and win some of these games we know are possible. Um, everything's still in front of us. We've got a game that can take us to the top of the division Monday night. We're focused on that. How hard would it have been to say that? He's been in front of these cameras all these years. How hard would it be to say that? All the extras not necessary. Bro, <laughs> I like his kids. I think he has a good wife. Yeah, what was all <laughs> that? You know, I play football with his kid. I throw the ball with him at practice. Uh, yeah. I, I, what power do you guys think I got? I mean, uh, if anybody thinks this way, then uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh shame on that. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up, bro. Come on, man. I used to love you, bro. Pause. I used to <laughs> right, love right. watching you play the game of football, man. But right now, bro, you throwing all that in the you throwing all that in the trash. All that. Too but much. This B this is BS yeah. that you're saying. Yeah, but we know drama. you got we know you got some type of power over there. How do you think Alan Thank Lazard you. and Randall Cobb and them boys got over there? You, you have know to who say acts, something. You, How you, you think Matt Hawkins is like still here? Too, right? Huh? You know who else acts like that? Got all the power in them front like they don't. No, no, no. We're going, let's talk about let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. All right, keep it NFL, okay? NFL, <laughs> National Football League, okay? All We're right, talking right, about right. them guys. I'm just saying, come on, you know. but you got them boys over there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Y'all are not running the ball because you're called. You're telling that mm -hmm. actor, bro, I need to throw this football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though you thrived in Green Bay with guys like Eddie Lacy, Aaron Yo. Jones, mm -hmm. you remember? You remember that, right? I do. You, you remember that? I mean, 
what, what are you talking about? Why, why are we not trying to run the freaking football? Why are we throwing it 30, 40, 50 times a game? Why at the end of the game situation, I'm passing on first down, second down, third down. Okay, now I'm going to shake my head and look all crazy on fourth down because uh, that wasn't the right route you threw. Why yeah. are we doing this, Rogers? Yeah. Why? Why are yeah, we doing this, man? If, if you love his kids so much, you wouldn't have put him on the bread line. Bro, come on, man. You love his kids so much, you would have got on the phone with Woody, like, hey, bro, hey, nah, nah. Yeah, don't, Robert don't do stays. This. Robert right. stays, bro. Exactly. Robert stays. Let's figure it out. It's we're two and mm -hmm. three. It's not the end of the world. It's really not the end of the world. If you exactly. fire that, if you fire Robert Sala, it's more towards the end of the season after it's all said and done. Like two and three is the game is it's not over. It's not the end, right? You're not going to get Bill Belichick mm -hmm. right now, right? He's not gonna come, he's not gonna walk through that door. So mm -hmm. I, ride, ride it out with him. And you mm. really and see what the real problem is yeah. at the end of the season. That right? that's what I thought. I, I thought that he would have probably is. gotten fired at the end of the year, but at least give him that opportunity to finish this out. Because yeah. you can you clearly see me? you hired him for his defensive acumen. And since he's been there, those defenses have been really good. Okay. Solid. Top I'm, five. Right. I'm not saying that he doesn't, as the head coach, you got to get some of the blame. Absolutely. True. But you know, you being Woody Johnson and, and the GM, uh, Joe Douglas, you all know the position you put this man in. You know, you give him Mike Tyson and uh, not Mike Tyson, Mike. Um, I can't remember the other, the other, you know, the other quarterback. You got Mike Tyson? And nah, they, they were running through um, some young quarterbacks. And then, of course, yeah. Zach Wilson and and now an old Aaron Rodgers. Like, what, what do you really expect? You're not giving you know? me a fair shake. Yeah. You, and, and then you allow Aaron Rodgers to emasculate the coach. In front of you know what is he, what is he supposed to do? Help out. Um, real quick. Uh, see see you guys in the chat. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate your interaction. Make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button for me. Appreciate it. All right, let's go to um. Oh, I didn't even ask you, G man. What do you what are your thoughts on what Aaron Rodgers had to say? I'm sorry. Oh no, I responded. I thought I did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he put me to sleep too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Glad to see you joined us back. <laughs> <laughs> Sound more like a um. I'm sorry, right? I know this guy, but he had yeah. to go. Like, yeah, yeah. My bad, like my bad. That's, that that's yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I know he was gonna get fired. I know tomorrow. it was gonna go like this. You know? <laughs> right. I, 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 I was talking about this up a little bit. <laughs> right. Um, I know okay, they so gonna fire him, fire him. You know what I mean? We cool. Right. I just right. want him to get written up or something. You know, I ain't know right. he was. <laughs> hey, I bet you he called Woody back. Hey, man. Wait. Whoa. Right now. Right. Like, I thought we were so, talking about the end of the year, bro. Like, like later on. Like, right. I ain't oh, telling you right now. Right now, God, you know I'm a master media manipulator, bro. <laughs> what you doing, man? I can't. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna look at the media, bro. <laughs> Woody. Now you gonna have me go out here and lie? God, oh man. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. Oh man. All right. So um, there's a show that comes on. I think uh, what is it like the six to eight? or six to nine slot on um, FS1 called The Carton Show. And it's got this guy, Craig Carton. He's another New York guy. He was a former uh, host on um, The Fan. I believe he's a New York guy. And um, he's pretty plugged in, pretty connected. And he had some thoughts on this whole situation as well. So I got um, I got two, um, two, two snippets from him. So we'll go ahead. We'll listen to the first one, come back and talk about it. Then we'll listen to the second one. And um, again, he's uh, he's a pretty connected guy. So let's check it out. You want to fire him after last year it makes total sense. It was another bad season, and if you're going to clean house, that's when you clean house. You know, when you're a game out of first place, even though it's not based on merit, you're a game out of first place Monday night game. Why are you firing a guy that's done what you asked him to do? And that's number one, kind of quote unquote, clean up the swamp. It was a cesspool that he inherited from Adam Gase. No one's going to dispute that. They won like a game before he got here, right? And he only won four in his first year, and then bang, seven wins in back to back years without a legitimate quarterback. So if we all agree that the problem with the New York Jets this year has been the performance of the offense, we're all mm -hmm. in lockstep on that, right? Sure. Then why don't you fire the guy in charge of the offense, Nathaniel Hackett? And the way this went down, and I talked to a number of people with the Jets organization yesterday, is that on the plane ride back from the loss against the Minnesota Vikings, Robert Sala discussed with a bunch of uh, guys on the coaching staff making a change. Not firing Hackett, but taking play calling away from him. Well, that got run up the flagpole, went to Joe Douglas, the GM, went to Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback, and de facto GM, and went to Woody Johnson. 
And the fact that they were going to take play calling away from Nathaniel Hackett prompted a phone call between Woody Johnson and Aaron Rodgers. I don't know who initiated that phone call, but I know they had it. Topic one, what do you think about Hackett not calling offense? I don't like it. Okay, Robert, come into our office. You're fired. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. So this is typical Jets crap. My only flip side of the argument is that based on the performance of the Jets, since Robert became the head coach, you can't defend him. Right. It's hard for me to say he's a great head coach. It's hard for me to say that he had turned it around and just let this year play out because it's looked a lot this year like it's looked every year since Robert got the job. And uh, I think that's pretty fair, right? It, it is yep. hard to defend him, and we talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, but at the you know, but at the same time, again, we have to look at the circumstances that Robert Sala was attempting to work under, and that that's the fact that we know his hands were cuffed, and they didn't exact. He didn't have a quarterback. He did the yeah. best he could, and in the modern NFL, you can have an elite defense, but the modern NFL, the way it is. It really doesn't allow you to get but so far and win but so much if you don't have the quarterback. No, man. I mean, that's true. Because I mean, what what is what is Robert Sala? What is his biggest genius? It's the defense. Mm -hmm. It's the defense. That's what so he does. So if I'm having an offensive problem, mm -hmm. talk to the offensive freaking coordinator. Mm -hmm. I'm the defensive mind. Yes, I can call all the shots. Who's running the playbook? That's that's not. That's not in his in his scheme and his playbook. He's calling the shots. Uh oh, is that me? I don't What's think looking? so. Oh Jesus Christ, that is me. Okay, my, uh, my uh, laptop is ringing. I was like, oh, where's yeah, that ringing coming from? But I, I go back and I look at I look at this scoreboard right here. 34-17, you guys beat Tennessee. Twenty-four to three, your defense only gave up three points. It's New England. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Denver, you lost ten to nine. Ten to nine. So. My genius, the, the head coach's genius, is getting the job done. I mm -hmm. need my coordinator to help me out, bro. Mm -hmm. Help me out. Like, like what, 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 what are we telling Joe Burrow to tell his defense, bro? Help me out. Help me out. I'm getting the points. Come on now. I just need, I just need some defense to at least try to win these ball games, right? We're one and four, but we, we're giving up, we're putting up thirty points on offense, but you guys are giving up thirty-one on defense. Come on now, help me out. Yeah. Minnesota, you lose twenty-three to seventeen. You, you threw three interceptions. Three interceptions, and you lost twenty three to seventeen, and you still had a chance to win. And that's why on the, the offensive ball, side right? of the ball, you know what I'm saying? So like, when is the onus on the quarterback and and the offensive coordinator? When I'm right. when my when my bugaboo is my, right. the best thing I do is the defensive side of the mm -hmm. ball, man. Mm -hmm. it, it's true. It truly is, man. It's yeah. It, it's mind boggling, bro. And I like Aaron, bro. I I've, I've went to bat for Aaron for over a decade. Um, when he was wearing that green and yellow uh, mm -hmm. color scheme, gold. All right, yeah. it's like poking fun at that. But come on, man, he did, it, this wasn't a fair shake. If you fire Robert Sala, that's cool. I'm not going to advocate and say he was right. a great coach. But what I right. will say is that dang, he didn't get a good shot at it. Mm -hmm. You get mm -hmm. a man a, a good, competent quarterback. Let me see what I can do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. let, let, get let's switch up the coordinator. Let's see. Let's see if that worked. Right? Let's see if it worked. If I hey quarterback, I mean you uh quarterback's coach, you call the plays. Let's let's see if we can get this get this thing rolling, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe Nat Hackett just calling the wrong play at the wrong time. Let's let's see something. Because right now, my my thing is the defense. We're getting it done. Right? So I'm I'm done, bro. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna let y'all spin, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, G. <laughs> just spin. So the new coach is Jeff Albrecht. Albrecht. Right, and uh, I think he was on wax saying that you know the offense is basically the offensive coordinator is Aaron Rodgers, basically. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. But he, he implied that he didn't say it, he just implied it. You mm -hmm. know, he's he's basically the offense coordinator here. Um, I don't know, man. Like it, it's a lot of drama. It's always drama with you know you got more drama than you do wins. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, what are we supposed to do here, right? I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, and again, I'll just I'll I'll make make this point. This is right back to a lot of people always tell me I'm wrong when I say I don't believe in giving players personnel sake. I do not, and I I never will. 
Because look, when you give players personnel say, and you become beholden to the player, and if stuff is not working, then what happens? The coach mm-hmm. gets fired, the GM gets fired, the player can't be held responsible for those decisions. Yeah. And I do not like that. I never will, and I I would never allow it if I was an owner. I might if I had a superstar player come to you and say, hey, we're thinking about doing this. What are your thoughts on it? Don't get it twisted. You're not making the decision. What are your thoughts on it? We may yeah. take it into consideration. I'd use a lot of conditionals in that situation because you don't want them to start thinking that they have an actual say in how things are run. Nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that here. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not how it went against, you know, Aaron Rodgers talking to Woody. No, I don't. Know, what, are you, what are you thinking about, Robert Solomon? <laughs> I think we should get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was pretty blunt. I think he need to go. Yeah. I, I He's not I getting think... along with my best friend, that Hackett. So, <laughs> he can't so, hack it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw um, the, the facility oh, yesterday man. when this news came out. So Chase Daniels was on there, and, you know, he's like a 15-year NFL vet, backup quarterback to a lot of guys and a lot of teams. So yeah. he's got a lot of connections in the league. He says he knows for a fact that Aaron Rodgers and Robert Sala hated each other. <laughs> and he, yeah. he said he he knows that Robert Sala was in no, the Robert Sala. Aaron Rodgers was involved in Robert Sala being dismissed. He said that. <laughs> no now, again, shit. I, I don't know for sure. I can't say it, but it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't Look surprise here. me. Sometimes, we, you know, the wall can be white. Mm-hmm. right? The wall can be white. Mm-hmm. And everybody says it's white. Mm-hmm. But you can always have that one person. Eh, maybe it's just a hint of gray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers is that one person that thinks in a gray. All right, we all it's white, bro. It's white. We know you got that man fire. All right, but we just because you wasn't on the phone. Well, I didn't tell Woody to fire. Him. I right, was just right. making a suggestion. Uh, maybe <laughs> we need to make an offense. I mean, a, a head coaching discussion uh, yeah, or just yeah. you know have a conversation with other head coaches and get mm-hmm. their point of view of they, what they think of our head coach I, I don't mean fire him would he yet all right but all yeah, right. like come on man I, yeah you had something to do with that right. we saw like from like if, if we're looking at the facts here from the mm-hmm. on-field presence it didn't look like you like him during mm-hmm. uh off season you didn't respect the philosophy you didn't show up to camp mm-hmm. now like come like all of this is pay, you're painting a bad picture already Aaron Mm-hmm. You can't love a love a dude, you know what I'm saying, or want be wanting to play for a dude when one you you disrespecting all the the preseason rules, you know what I mean? On the sideline, you're, mm-hmm. you're talking, you're bashing them right, uh, right. in press conferences. Yeah, like, come on, bro, like you don't. Yeah, you don't if, if you love him like, like you that, say man. you did, you were showing more respect because as the yeah. leader of the team on the field, people are gonna follow you. So you're you absolutely right. I, I would have put I, I would have put him on blast uh, if I'm Pat Mack. If you have been like, you know, I, I, I love his wife. What's his wife name? <laughs> uh, well, remember Pat uh, McAfee's Miss, boy, though. Miss so. Sala. Miss Sala. Miss Sala. <laughs> Sala. Nah, nah, right, you ain't right, been getting right. away with that. What's the first name? You love her, right? <laughs> I don't know nobody I love, but I don't know their first uh, name, bro. That's funny. Yeah, no, it's a fact. It's a fact. But yeah, man. Yeah. So let's um let's listen to uh the second commentary that um Craig Carton from the Carton show had. Uh this this was interesting, and then we'll we'll come back, we'll uh talk about that a little bit, then we'll wrap this topic up. This is why I, I, I find this so problematic, and I'm going to use some video to back this up, okay? Right, go ahead. So the New York Jets are sitting at 2-3. and three. Uh, Very disappointing, okay? Denver Broncos game. All right, there's your all-world quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, underthrowing Brees Hall for what would have been a touchdown, okay? Well, that, that's got to be you know, Robert Sala's fault. First and goal from the two after pass interference. Oh, Brees Hall on the offensive line can't get a single freaking yard. So on third down, we give the ball. To our whole world quarterback, he throws it into the stands, firing at with uh, the catch right there. Oh, chance to win the game. And Greg the Lake Zerlein misses an easy 50-yard field goal. Well, that's got to be Robert Sala's fault, right? Let's go to London. Let's go to the game against Minnesota. A chance here to steal the victory from their 38-yard line. And what happens? Well, first, an interception that gets returned for a touchdown by Rip Van Winkle. And by the way, guess who's not in the screen trying to tackle him? That's the 40-year-old Aaron Rodgers. But it gets worse than that because the New York Jets had a chance. They had a chance to win the game right there, and Aaron Rodgers overthrows Garrett Wilson by seven yards. So if Greg Zerline makes the kick, okay, if Aaron Rodgers hits a wide open Garrett Wilson, the New York Jets are 4-1. and one. That's a fact that can't be argued. That's what happened. That's how and why they lost those two games. 
So how does Robert Sala get fired for the inability of a four-time MVP hitting a wide-open wide receiver? Yeah. How does Robert Sala get fired for an all-world kicker, we thought at least, Greg Zerline, missing a 50-yard kick at home to beat the Denver Broncos? And the answer is that he recognized the biggest problem with this New York Jets team is that Nathaniel Hackett stinks as an offensive coordinator. I didn't think so. I thought the Denver situation was more about Denver and not about him. Shame on me. Well, I was wrong. But when he goes to replace him, he forgot the cardinal rule if you're the head coach for an Aaron Rodgers team. You didn't get it okayed by Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers runs that franchise, not Woody Johnson, not Christopher Johnson, not Joe Douglas. And Aaron Rodgers told Woody Johnson, if you stop letting Hackett call plays, maybe I don't want to play football anymore. And Robert Sala got fired as a direct result of Aaron Rodgers telling Woody Johnson, over my dead body, you replace Nathaniel Hackett. <clears throat> So uh, sounds, it sounds about right. Sounds about right. Again, we don't have we don't know who or what his sources are. So I want to make sure that we're clear and we're saying um, we're not directly accusing Aaron. Rod I'm, I'm not directly accusing oh, about say, Aaron Rodgers of, 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 of getting Robert Sala fired. Um, that said, like a, the timing looks awful suspicious. And now we're hearing more than one person in the in the sports media who's connected saying that that was the case. So. You know, I, I think we'll just uh, <laughs> we'll leave that uh, where it is. I, I think it's very interesting. Um, are you trying to are you trying to save face in your channel for by not saying that he's a liar? I'm saying I'm saying I like evidence, right? And since I don't have any, <laughs> since I don't have any, is is, but, is it really fair of me to? So you know, so right now, you, you, mm -hmm. it's not fact. Like you don't know any factual information, correct. right? So you don't correct, know whether correct. something was said, whether it was something was done, but you're right. getting feedback from sources that said this was done that's well, well, not good enough for this topic correct well i'm not getting feedback from sources i'm just talking about what's what's being said that's that's Got all it. i'm saying yeah okay because yeah. I, I okay <laughs> yeah all right all right so yeah I, I just you know you know me i try to be careful about what i say without real evidence you know what i mean so no 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 i got you yeah. That boy Nino came in hot about them still is Mike Tomlin Tomlinson. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Uh, we'll resign. We'll resign if you don't make wow. it. Make Nino, it what's good, brother? Man, that's a Man, hard that was take, a, bro. Right? He um <laughs> uh, Dang. Okay, Nino. All right, all right. Yo, he is a Steeler, so I'm gonna let him roll he with his What's up? What's up with these Steelers bashing their own like own franchise right now? You know man? what? You got Steve upset, you got Nino upset <laughs> coming in. I respect that the Steeler fans could be objective, though. I respect that. That's well, we know some Ravens that don't. But some of them. <laughs> Y'all need to have a mentor right, session with go. G over here, boy. <laughs> Let me ask you a I question. Mean, sometimes when, was last time, when was the last time you uh, you on pick them uh, that you picked another team to beat outside of your package? That's a good point. I mean, what, what, what are we talking about here? Matter of fact, I, I, think I, did, I think I did. You know what I'm talking about, me. Bruce. You heard, you heard the question, then you, Bruce. That's a, yeah, that's a, that was. A, I mean, yeah. I don't see what that has to do with you know being objective. <laughs> I'm gonna always root for them to win, right? What was the last time win. you picked another team? Uh, it's only been four, or five weeks, sir. <laughs> and they should, they should be five and zero. Oh. <laughs> it's not like we went out there and got cooked, okay? <sighs> We're in. We're <laughs> battling every game. Philly, we yeah. it was a nail biter. Yeah, we got two yeah. two games in a row. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. I got got him. I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. I, I oh, mean, but my goodness. look, was That's I funny. But wait, Bruce, Bruce pick Green Bay every week too. <laughs> I don't pick them every week, man. I pick them when I think they're gonna win. I don't you, pick them every week. The though. only the only week you uh -huh. didn't pick them was uh, -huh. uh we both didn't pick Green Bay. Was I think the it was the week. first week, yeah. That yeah, the second week because Jordan, Jordan loved didn't play. So and I, you know, G, I didn't pick them. Green Bay in week two. So thank you. Okay, I'm objective. All right, but that was it. Other than that, I'm picking Green Bay. That's it. That's it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was it. Nah. That was Do it, bro. Wild. Do wild. All right, let's do this. Um, all right, cool. Any last comments about the? Uh, any last comments about this Aaron Rodgers and Robert Sala topic? I just 
I think it's terrible, but yeah, I mean it's 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 terrible. It's unfortunate. Um, like I said, I, I would have wished that Robert Sala got a fair fairer shake. Um, mm-hmm. seeing that you know when you what you're there for, what you're good at, I'm mm-hmm. top five in. Like my mm-hmm. team is top five in right now. We have an offensive problem, and right, and we didn't address the offensive problem. We just got rid of me. Like right, I, I, I just didn't like that. I didn't like that. Um, especially when, um. Like I said, we're losing games on the offensive side of the ball. Mm-hmm. We lose a game by a field goal. We could have we could have won that game. We lose a game right. because Aaron Rodgers couldn't, you know, will us in like he did in Green Bay. You know, he couldn't get us in the end zone. But yet my defense made the stop to give us this opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, I just don't like it, man. All right, cool. All right. So um y'all know what time it is. Got the number in the chat, 904-219-8264. It's also scrolling on the bottom of your screen there. So uh, go ahead, give us a call. Give us your thoughts on this whole um, Aaron Rodgers thing. Uh, you heard where we are on it. You heard um, our feelings and kind of – you also heard Aaron Rodgers' commentary, and you also heard Craig Carton of the Carton Show. Um, there's a lot of other stuff I was listening to and reading today, but obviously I couldn't play everything I heard from, uh, from you know, all over the internet for you. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't like it. Um, not saying that Salah couldn't have been fired at the end of the year. That's what I expected, but – I just thought this was too early and I thought he didn't get a fair shake. But a lot of people also say life is not fair or fair is a place where they judge pigs. Right. So um, just, uh, you know, it's it's about how you look at it. Um, Damn. Oh, that's messed up, Tyler. I, I ain't never been in no Ravens parades. That ain't cool, man. You're not. a. You can't. Wow. It's not cool, man. You can't claim a Super Bowl First as a all. fan because you didn't First go to the all. parade. What? When the Ra- when the Ravens won in 2013, I was in Korea serving our country, man. That's not fair. You can't do that. That's <laughs> that's not cool. Hey, <laughs> what? A, yeah, no, no love for the military. You know we on right? deployment and all right? everything. Like, man, you didn't make the parade. You can't claim a Super Bowl. Two thousand. I'll give you two thousand. I was, I was, you know, I just, I didn't get there. I'll give you that. 2013. That's not fair, bro. Can't do it like that. Now, 2010, I was on my homeboy couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we I think we just got off the uh, plummet. Matter of fact, we just got off the plummet. I'm on my homeboy couch. I have a green bandana. Mm-hmm. I have a drink in my hand. And oh, I was watching man. Aaron Rodgers win the game. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, it looks like we're not going to get any calls on this one. So, all right. Um, before we move on to the next topic, y'all, make sure you uh go ahead and you um uh click that like and subscribe button on the youtube page make sure you go to the youtube page not the facebook click that like and subscribe really appreciate it yep, and yep. um make sure you share the show out man let's get some more people in in the chat and more people aware of the channel we got a lot of content here we work hard on bringing y'all and um yeah it's a lot of good stuff so make sure you're sharing the channel to uh sports fans who want to hear a different voice than the stuff you hear in the mainstream sports media 